Welcome to video 174 in series 3 and now I'll write the gun NPC input script. Okay so I'm going to make a new C sharp script inside of the gun scripts folder and it's going to be called gun underscore NPC input. Okay so I'll have four variables here and they are private gun master gun master, private transform my transform, private raycast hit hit, public layer mask layer to avoid. And that public layer mask layer to avoid is pretty much controlling friendly fire. So for example, if I put it on a friendly NPC, then I'm going to say that I don't want the player and friendly layers uh, to be detected. Well, basically, it'll check that those layers are the ones that are not getting hit by the gun. And if they are, then they should be uh, ignored. I won't need the start and update methods, so I'll just remove those. And inside a set initial references, I have gun master, is equal to get component gun master. My transform is equal to transform. All right, so I'm gonna put in a new method now, and it's public void NPC fire gun. Pass in float randomness. So finally, we're going to uh, be using the uh, all the stuff that we've been doing in the state range attack script will now f come all the way down to this script, which will eventually attach to the gun, and it's going to do this. So inside of uh, public void npc fire gun float randomness and I'm actually pretty sure it doesn't need to be public so I'll just get rid of that uh, if it needs to be it'll become apparent uh, in the upcoming videos but I don't believe it needs to be so continuing onwards vector 3 start position is equal to new vector 3 random dot range so you can see I'm using random dot range to add some randomness to the starting position of the ray cast that's going to be used for detecting what is to be uh, basically hit by this uh, weapon okay so I'm saying then inside of that random dot range brackets minus randomness comma randomness so that's the spread there then comma again random dot range uh, brackets minus randomness comma randomness so this is in the y-axis and then comma 0.5 f and this is for the z component just so that the raycast will start somewhat in front of the uh, gun itself now if physics dot raycast starting from my transform dot transform point using this vector 3 start position comma my transform dot forward so that's the direction comma out hit uh, so of course i want information on what the raycast hit comma get component gun shoot dot range so i'm just going to use the range as specified in the gun shoot script okay so then if hit dot transform dot game object dot layer is uh, equal to layer to avoid then return get out of this method uh, nothing else will happen, so there'll be uh, no damage uh, applied uh, to the uh, target. Okay, so um, that would be that. That's why I have the layer to avoid up above. And now let's continue. So else if, so if that wasn't the case, else if hit dot transform dot get component npc take damage is not equal to null, or hit dot transform. Uh, is equal to game manager references dot player transform so if it's the player or if it's an npc then gunmaster dot call event shot enemy pass in hit comma hit dot transform else then gunmaster dot call event shot default pass in hit comma hit dot transform okay so that is the method right there that the NPCs will use when this gun fires. So it's a little different. The player uses a different approach for using the gun, whereas the NPC uses a, a different ap approach using the script. All right, so in on enable, I'll call set initial references and also have gunmaster.event NPC input plus equal NPC fire gun. So I'm just having this method subscribe to that event npc input and as you can finally see now that is where the state the npc state range attack script you know it calls this event npc input and now you can see it's finally filtering through and all this other stuff is happening and in the previous video we went and edited other scripts too to listen to this event and to play animations and uh, sounds and whatnot Okay, so that's the corresponding unsubscribe in on disable. 
And uh, all right, so I can just save that. That is it for this script. And I'll just go to Unity, double check, no obvious errors, can't see anything, which is good. Now, I don't actually have to attach this script right now. There's no need to. When we actually set up the NPC, I'll attach it at that time to the gun held by the NPC. It doesn't affect the player when the player comes to use the gun. It has no impact. But, uh, well, I, well, okay, fine. I might as well just put it on. There we go. Makes me feel a little bit better. But the layer to avoid, you don't set that till you've put this on an NPC that you want to use it. And then you tell it, so if you don't want the friendly fire stuff happening, especially with large crowds of NPCs, then you uh, tell the weapon that the NPC is holding, you know, which uh, layers that they should avoid, for example, that friendly layer. Okay, and that only applies to NPCs, NPCs, of course. When the player shoots, they use a different approach, and of course they can damage anything. Uh, Alright, so that is it for this video. In the uh, next two videos, we'll go ahead and set up an NPC uh, for, I guess, a friendly NPC who is capable of doing range attacks. Okay, anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.